Are you able to solve the river sizes medium coding interview question? Well, here's the solution. So we have this matrix that we are given of ones and zeros. Ones represent water and zeros represent land. And we want to get the size of all the rivers, meaning the size of adjacent ones. So for example, right here, we have two adjacent ones giving us a size of two, and we would find all of the different rivers, and these would be the different sizes, and you can see the rivers down here. And the key point of this question is to realize that while this is a 2D array, a better way to think about it is a graph. So each element in the graph is a node, and that node has a value of zero and one. And then each of those nodes has neighbors, or the adjacent water and land. And all we need to do is iterate through this 2D array, and from each node, we want to do a graph graph traversal. So we can use DFS or BFS to do this. And essentially what we're going to do is say, okay, for each node that we are adjacent to, have we seen this node before? If we have, we don't need to do anything. And if we haven't seen this node before, is it water? And if it is water, then we are connecting this river and our river got bigger. So for example, if we start at this first value, we'd look to the right and we haven't seen this before, but it's a zero, so it doesn't matter. And then we would look down below and we would see, oh, we have a one here. So this is one that we do want to say, okay, our river just got a little bit bigger. And there's no other adjacent nodes here, but then we'd look to the adjacent nodes of this one and we'd see a zero and another zero. And we haven't seen either of these nodes before, but both of them are zeros. So this is actually the end of that river. And then we do this for every single element in the 2D array, keeping track of the sizes of the rivers we find, as well as what nodes we've already visited to make sure that we aren't looking at the same river multiple times. And if you wanna see a deeper breakdown of this question and all of the code for it, it is free at algoexpert.io.